Hey guys, Tommy here with TFL Classics. We are back at the Happy Yak Ranch with Case behind the camera and of course David. And we've got some more stuff to do with Six Shooter. This is Yak Gauntlet, episode two. Now I'm hurting him along the racetrack. <laughs> this has not gone well. I'm losing a lot of time here. <laughs> this is what we call the Yak Gauntlet, a test of durability for an old truck doing stuff at David's Yak Ranch. In this video, we're going to see how the F-150 fares smoothing out a bunch of rutted out fields. We're also going to run it through a race course and just for kicks, why not a tug of war with a gladiator? Man, I have no power whatsoever. It just doesn't have it anymore. I think we may have killed this poor truck. Yeah, since you were here last, I put a few mods on it, and uh, you know, what's a truck without a hood ornament? I did fix the bed you destroyed. Me? Yeah. Destroyed? Yeah, you did. I did figure out that when I bolted this on here, I bolted through this rotted out plywood. So I sent the bolts through here this time, okay. and then I attached everything a little better. So I think it can handle a lot more weight now. All right, so the first test for the 1990 F-150 is we got to break up with the yak turds. Yeah, the yak turds. Yeah, we got a bunch of yak turds in the field, but more importantly, David has built a racetrack, and we got to smooth it out a little bit. It's going to be a good test for the F-150, though, because now there's a big steep ravine, and it's also kind of rocky back there. So we're going to hook up these tires behind the F-150, which don't look like much, but weigh a ton, and then we're going to see if David can uh, drag those turds. <laughs> Coming through. Okay. Coming through, girls. We do a little track maintenance. <laughs> no problem, our track's looking good. Here goes nothing. We better call Matt's off-road recovery. I'm officially stuck. I got a strap. Sweet. I'll see if I can pull you up. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Ford made it up the hill, but it still had to make its way back on down and back to the farm. Get me out of here, Come on. Come on. That wasn't good. All right, she's still alive. She ain't quit yet. But that was awesome coming yeah, up did, here. It did pretty good. You just gotta like bag it up and let her rip. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we know that that truck is capable of actually flattening out this race course. Yeah. I think we should try, just for kicks, a tug of war with the Jeep. Oh, now there's a good idea. All right, I've challenged Tommy to a tug of war. Number one, I think the Jeeps are overrated. <laughs> and my Ford inline 300 cubic inch engine is much more powerful than whatever's in that Jeep over there. Oh, David, you're going down. No way, buddy. I got you out beat right here. Why are you gonna win this tug of war? Well, number one, I have more liters than you do. I got 4.9 yep. to your 3.6. Are we ready to do this? I've got two wheel drive. 
Here we go. I'm in low gear. I think we're both just digging a hole. <laughs> All right, should we try it again? Let's give it a try again. For the second run, I left the Jeep in two wheel drive, but turned off traction control and the results were pretty dramatic. <laughs> that was no contest. David then decided to win the tug of war. He needed some more weight over the rear wheels. So he brought on 1,300 pounds of hay to see if that would help him out. Man, I have no power whatsoever. Just doesn't have it anymore. Well, you know what, David? I'll, I'll give you credit. I can't pull you forward in two-wheel drive. All right, stop. Let me let me try four low. I bet I can give you a nice little tug in, in four low here. Okay. Yeah, I challenge you to a race as well. Okay. Around the Yakadega 500. Okay, cool. So, David, you strapped down the bale. Yeah, I feel like it makes me a little more. I don't know, competitive because it gives me traction. <laughs> and we got a couple cameras rolling and we're gonna do the new course, right? With those new hills. Yeah, we're gonna go down in the creek and, and back up and hopefully I can come back up. Nice, nice. Yeah. All right, well, let's see what old six shooter. Yeah, I'm hoping, I think I compromised six shooter a little bit by working it so hard. So, you know, I hope she finishes. We also got some, uh, some terrain challenges. We do, we got yaks in the way. Hey, that's just part of the course out here on the yak. And Damia 500. There it is. Yaka, what? Dega. How come I can't remember that? <laughs> Yaka Dega 500. All right, buddy, good luck. In three, two, one, go. Go. Come on, girls. Out of the way. Wow, look at him go. It does ride so much better with that big yet. Bail on the back. Oh, yeah. Mm. Oh, oh. All right, I'm gonna have to give her some gas coming up through here. I hope I make it. Here we go. Here we go. Oh, oh yeah, I made it. Woohoo! Here we go. Come on, girl. You can do it. Woo! Yeah! Now that was thrilling right there. How'd she feel, David? It felt really good, actually. Yeah, it looked good. Yeah, man, I was flying. Yeah, one minute and 26 seconds. Whoa, that's even quicker than you did it in the Subi. That's fast. And that was, this is the extended course. Yeah, she had a lot of traction up those hills. Too. I know, and the suspension was handling that big bail in the back pretty good. All right, I have probably more horsepower at 285. But this is also a fifty-five thousand dollar truck versus nine hundred. Yeah, you're gonna have to be a little more careful than I was. Shoot, I didn't care if I took out the oil pan. <laughs> but you do have the same obstacle. On your marks, get set, go. Full throttle and hard on the brake because we got yaks in the way. Come on, yaks! Oh boy, this is not going well. You gotta use your horn. <laughs> oh, I feel bad hogging at the yaks. All right, I'm going off course here. Now I'm hurting them along the racetrack. <laughs> this has not gone well. I'm losing a lot of time here. <laughs> Back onto the throttle. Down to the devil's dip as David calls it. Woo! Solid axles. Not great for this kind of thing. All right. Into the new section of the course. We got the hill climb here. Down into the hill climb nice and slow so don't bottom anything out. Full throttle. Come on, grip, grip, grip. Oh, not bad at all. Through the pasture. Now we've got the other downhill side coming up here. Oh, doing well.
I can't believe it, Tommy, you beat me. No, I didn't. 124.31. So the Gladiator won, but good performance by the 91. Well, it was surprising. You know, when you put that much weight on it, it, it rides really well. And I felt in control. Yeah, I was, I was impressed. It made it up the hills. Yeah, I mean, did it, you think it's lost some power over the days? It feels like it. Yeah, I mean, yeah. we did overheat it pretty good that one time, but you know, it, it's just a testament to how, you know, bulletproof these 300s are. I mean, it still, it still keeps cranking along. It still runs, just like everybody's been telling us. Hadn't given up the ghost completely. No, it's still, it's still, still working. Let us know in the comment section below what else you want to see with Six Shooter, what other ideas you have, because at this point onward, we're open to any suggestions. Yeah, agreed. Agreed. <laughs> All right, Case, thank you so much for filming today. David, thanks again for letting us come out here and destroying your field. I feel bad about that. Hey, that's all right. No problem, and look forward to next time. Yep, look forward to next time. Thanks for watching.